Yeah. I pull up roto when I'm down it. I pull up roto when I'm down it. Yeah. I pull up roto when I'm down it. Hi, hotties, kettles, teasters. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. So, you guys, I know it don't seem like it because I be pulling all these receipts, but I do have a life outside of YouTube. And for the past week or so, it's been kind of hard over here on my side because, you know, the kids getting ready to go back to school. It's a lot of traffic in the world. Shopping ain't the same. Sleep ain't the same. It's just a lot going on. Right, so I'm used to posting a couple videos a day, and I'm gonna get back to that. But lately, I've been trying to just post what I can because y'all love my content, and so I've been scrolling on my feed, and I'm like, hold on now, it's, it's, it's looking a little too negative on the timeline. We got too much walkie talkie slurry on going on, and I need y'all to know that was not intentional. It is just really hard keeping up with Love and Marriage Huntsville, genuinely. I, it's just always something going on when you think you can keep up with it or, oh, this happened today, I'll talk about it tomorrow. Three things have literally happened since then. So I try to get what's hot real fast. And over the course of some time, you got walkie-talkie wearing the ring. You got Slarion coming out back to back. You got Mel and all her adventures because Mel stay on the fly, okay? She got a million and one sales going on. Have y'all been shopping? Get in the comments, let me know because I just... Just had to order some more oil and I don't know why but the oil is top tier and my man really loved the oil on top of that if you guys get her body butter it's real liquidy I like to put mine in the freezer get it nice and cold you put that thing on in the morning baby but you know that's because it's the summertime I'm just giving y'all some tips y'all should try it like that get in the comments let me know how y'all like that and the only reason I do that because I read from a dermatologist that putting your skincare on and your body products on while they are cold it helps with the longevity and the elasticity in your skin, making you look young and youthful for a longer time. So, Mel Chemist didn't say this, but I'm going to just say, if you guys want to try it, try you guys' skincare from 7th Avenue cold. You know, try to apply these products cold. And the only thing that I would say is, my mama is fine, okay? Way older than Mel, and she is giving... She looks like she my age, right? My mama is fine. I'm embarrassed, but I'm praying that I age like my mama. Please, God, help me. Please, Lord. Because we all know them boomers and they firstborn children are heavenly, okay? The way that they are aging. Well, you know, the ones that seemingly are decent people or have taken care of their skin or taken care of themselves. Like, for example, I'm gonna just give y'all a quick little sidebar. Do y'all know, like, Toya, Rashida, and what's the other one name? Monica and them. They are all, like, literally the epitome of black beauty. I don't know how old they are, but they don't give their age, right? Majority of them look about mid-20s. Be real. My mama will fit in that category. Mel would also be in that category. And that's unfortunate to her daughters because that means you have a very, very high expectation when you got a fine-ass mama that don't age. One of the great things is a lot of men look at your mom and they automatically expect you to look like that when you get older. So you have no issues with choosing, but you live in anxiety every day of your life out of fear that you might not quite age like that and mess up the gene pool. No, I'm JK, I'm JK. But I'm praying that I age like my mama. <laughs> okay, but sorry for my tangent, okay? Sorry, but the 7th Avenue products just made me think of all of the women that I know with just beautiful, godly-like skin. I did a video yesterday talking about the Love & Marriage Huntsville extras that were at the pool discussing Miss Melody Cherie Rogers. And that's M-S-M-I-S-S, -S, however the fuck you want to put it. Because y'all stay correcting me as if you cannot call a woman Miss Rogers. That doesn't mean it's M. 
MRS. I don't know. Because I'm not saying Mrs. Rogers. But look, y'all know I talk a lot. Let me get to the point. So all of these extras were at the pool talking about Melody. And I didn't like that. And I took to my channel to say some very hurtful things about a lot of them. And in this, I said some things about Neil because I just couldn't understand the way that she was moving. But at the end of the day, you guys, I'm not really a blogger. I'm a mellow meter. And I just so happen to get on this platform and discuss the things that are going on with Love and Mayor Chanceville because it's so relatable and it struck me to the core. <laughs> so when Mel went to Neil House and showed us on her story, that told me everything that I need to know because despite what y'all want to believe, Mel be speaking in code. And y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like Mel went to Neil to get the tea on what happened at the little pool thing where they were at and also to let her know about Walkie Talkie and Slarion about to go to jail and all the charges that she done pressed on them. Because believe me, I definitely know for a fact that Mel is working something up. I also feel like part of her doing this was for us to kind of see like her and Nell are friends and lay up, lay up y'all. Because what we do know for a fact is she ain't popping up on Kimmy so the lines in which her and Kimmy are friends are very clear they're just associates they're just you know co-workers her and Neil I do believe are actual friends I just think Neil is older she come from a different generation and she probably just don't you know, I don't know. I, I really can't understand it. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't know. I don't know why she associates with walkie talkie. But what I do know is it's probably just her husband that associates with walkie talkie. She just around her husband. And that's just what it is. You know, that's kind of what I take from it from Neil's personality. Chris is seemingly the one that's kind of more outgoing. Neil is outgoing. I guess she shows that on the show. I like Neil's personality. I'm not going to lie, though. I just do not understand her connection with walkie talkie. Like, I just feel like that's the only discrepancy that I have with Neil. Why is it so hard for us to just write off toxic black men in our community? Black men are always co-signing these negative characteristics about themselves and women just kind of co-sign it and tag along. And that is the part that I kind of have an issue with. But regardless, you know, it's male friends. So what if? Yeah, I done came and pulled up over here to see my friend today. I just pulled up on her. All I know. <laughs> I noticed that Carlos did an interview with Dusty Dan and I thought that was very interesting seeing as though he hasn't really addressed anything that was going on behind the scenes. A lot of you all suggest, however, that the reason he hasn't said anything behind the scenes could be because there is already things happening behind the scenes and so he can't talk about it. But why wouldn't he just say, you know, it's a lot going on. We can't really talk about it, you know, but we will make statements in the future, so on and so forth. But it seemed like the only thing that he wanted to say was was his messy one two and let it be known that they'll be discussing it at the reunion i don't think that's appropriate because we see how they do at the reunion they game up and team up at the reunion so mel took to her instagram story and said when i tell y'all i had to put my phone down to talk to my friend which lasted for hours then when i picked it up and saw so much love in my dm i just want to say i appreciate y'all so much i appreciate the support love words of wisdom she tagged her mom and she said she started it first and i just really want y'all to know i see y'all i hear y'all mel said it can be a lot but this is the year of revelation she also said i I believe in prayer manifestation at speaking things into existence she said when we first did the revelation code and i asked everyone to use it when purchasing as this is the year of revelation i honestly didn't know in that moment exactly what that looked like but i believed it and y'all believed it with me and y'all ordered i put energy into packing believing and manifesting revelation she then says now here we are in less than two months do y'all hear me less 
less than eight weeks, God has literally showed up and showed out. He said, giving is everything that we need and then some literally. I'm in praise and awe at the same time. She also said, we have stood tall, pushed through when we felt weak and tired. She said, we stayed the course, made some of the toughest decisions of my life all while believing and following the spirit within. She then said, we aren't done. We aren't finished. It's still the year of revelation. And may every demon and snake show themselves for who they are while we stand on this spiritual and legal battlefield. God is our strength. She then says, this isn't a me thing. I didn't choose this purpose for my life. This is a we thing. She then says, but I have stayed obedient to the charge, knowing and trusting that there's a reason that every single demon I publicly slaughter, bitch. Yeah. Every single demon that I publicly slaughter is giving someone else hope that their victory is near too. We are turning up the heat now. Use code REVELATION for 25% off all skincare products. When Mel said, I didn't choose this purpose for my life, this is a we thing, it hit so heavy because when I watched her story unfold and I saw her strength throughout this entire process, it did nothing but strike a passion in me and a drive in me to speak just as the child of a narcissistic man. And a lot of you all have been asking me, when am I going to do my video being raised by a narcissistic father, just like walkie talkie. I'm going to make that video. Um, I realized that that topic is very deep. It requires a lot of depth. And I think that's something that I will be putting on my members only just to really protect myself because I feel like people think that they can, you know, throw things in my face when really you have to be able to come, you know, reach past a certain level of healing to even be able to speak about certain things. But I only want to leave those videos on the floor for people that actually support me. And not necessarily for trolls and other people that necessarily come on my channel just for, you know, drama and content or I'm sorry, drama and news from Love and Mirror Chuntonsville, because I totally understand some people don't want that much depth in their life. They just want the tea. Let's get to it. Let's get out. Totally get that. But when it comes to sharing my story, something that was so deep, so, you know, life changing in a sense, I think that requires, you know, some privacy and it's catered to people that it would actually help. And I feel like the only people that would, you know, actually care to even understand that are people that have been through it, gone through it, and just really want to know what the kids turn into or what they come up to be, what they grow up to be, what they grow up to think like, be like, associate themselves with. I think that is something just for people that are just on the same pathway as me and not necessarily for everyone. So that's all I have for this video. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know what you think about Mel. In my opinion, like I said earlier in this video, she went over to Neil Hall so she can get the information straight out of the horse's mouth. I feel like Mel is smart enough to understand that, yeah, we may send her videos and stuff, but if there's people that were there that she can get direct information from, she'll go there. A lot of us were in an uproar about Kimmy even being associated. I was annoyed with Mel because why are you even there? But in the same breath, somebody commented in my comments on my last video and was like, well, I felt like Neil was all the way on the other side of the pool. And you know what? But that was actually a fact and I should have stated that in my video. Nell was on the other side of the pool. That is facts. Her husband was the one that was more so associated with these corny narcissistic men. But in the same breath, she was still able to hear some of the conversation. And so in my opinion, just me being the type of woman that I am, I just wouldn't even want to be around people that are having that type of conversation about my loyal friend that had gone through all of this abuse and narcissism. And again, that's what I say. It's just one of those things that are an issue within our community. We need to stand 10 toes down and not just shaming the women that do the things that Walkie Talkie did and Slaryon did, but the men as well. These women being very comfortable to laugh around him and kiki key around him are very unfortunate. And the fact that Kimmy is just so happy and eh, uh, I, I just cannot stand her. So I, I feel like 
part of what Mill was speaking about maybe has something to do with that as well. And the overall understanding that although walkie talkies sit on this damn la- live and laugh, that's what he always do to distract and deflect. He's giving, oh, 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 he's, she's looking, she's looking, let's laugh. Ha <laughs> ha Like, you know what I'm saying? He's giving like he's putting on a show. He's giving us extra. He wants us to feel like he's enjoying himself. He's not worried. He's stress-free when really that's why the shade's on. The hoe is aging like a goddamn goose. Just like Kimmy's scary looking ass. Yeah, I said it. Big, dark-eyed bat. I don't like Kimmy, and I'm gonna be on her top. That's a sneaky, nasty-ass, vindictive broad. But y'all go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell so you are up to date each and every time that I upload. Yeah, yeah. I pull up roto when I'm shining. I pull up roto when I'm shining. Yeah, yeah. I pull up roto when I'm shining. Oh, it's not in the case of anybody.